morning, everybody, and uh, just hopefully everyone uh, can hear us there. We're about to start. Uh, I'd like to introduce Justin Fong, our managing director, here to speak. Thanks, Shane. Good morning, and uh, thank you all for coming out today. Uh, I'd also like to thank our staff and caterers for uh, the great job they've done. And I'm sure many of you are very busy these few days, so I'm going to keep things short. My name is Justin Fung. I am the managing director of Aquis. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar with us, we've just recently partnered with Emirates Park uh, to take on management of this historic and beautiful property. Uh, a little background on Aquis. This is a family business uh, headed by my father, Tony, who, where is he? Out the back. Okay. Hi, Dad. Um, and uh, I'm very lucky to be working alongside him and my brother, Jay, who's just recently joined the team along with his girlfriend, Ginny. They're back there somewhere working the camera. Hi, Jay and Ginny. Uh, so last year was our first year at Sud in Queensland. And uh, we actually stood the nation's leading freshman stallion in Spill the Beans. And he was the only freshman to cover over 200 mares. Uh, we also carried on the legacies of established stallions like Holy Roman Emperor. So we're extremely excited uh, to bring our operation to New South Wales and replicate our success here. We've got a great roster to present to you today. We have established and proven stallions with outstanding histories like Artie Schiller and Almahar. And we're very proud, very proud to introduce two new freshman stallions in uh, Kiss and Makeup and Divine Profit. And our CEO, Shane, will uh, give more details on the roster in just a moment. So look, I just want to close by saying that our excitement is directly linked to the quality of the stallions we have here. And we know that regardless of your breeding goals, we have the right product for you. So if you have any questions, please feel free to talk to any of our staff. They'll be happy to answer anything you, you need. And uh, just on that note, thanks again, and I'm going to hand things back over to Shane to run the rest of the show. Thanks, Shane. Thank you, Justin. I uh, also would like to welcome everyone that's watching us uh, live on Facebook. It is indeed a privilege to be standing here today to present our Hunter Valley roster. And again, reiterating, as Justin said, thank you, everyone, for coming. It is obviously in association with Emirates Park, and I hope His Excellency, Dr. Sahu, and the entire Emirates team are pleased to see this iconic farm spring back to life. And now before we start the parade, uh, I know what you're all thinking. An Irishman and an Indian, what are we going to sell you today? <laughs> uh, so don't believe us, believe your eyes, because you're going to see five tremendous stallions here today. So we'll start the ball rolling, uh, and the first horse is Adi Schiller. Now ladies and gentlemen, Adi Schiller. There's no need to avert your eyes, and don't let this horse's reputation put you off. He doesn't eat children for breakfast, he hasn't danced with the devil, and he's not Hannibal Lecter in a horse suit. Now let me tell you, Shane, this horse has big ears, and he can hear everything you say, so you better be careful here. Absolutely. To be fair, Jimmy, he's just a horse who's a little bit misunderstood. To be fair to the horse, we have acknowledged that he does require extra attention. And together with the advice we've received from Winstar, and of course, Ejaz, our stallion manager who's parading him today and knows him so well, we have made some changes to his management and his routine. With that in mind, the horse is going to be restricted to two mares a day, and he's limited to 100 mares for his season here in Australia. In addition to that, at the back of the serving stallion barn, we made a special yard for him so he can be king of his own domain. He seems happy. We've already seen a change in his demeanor. Uh, and apart from this reputation he carries, he has another reputation, and is that he was a tremendous racehorse. He's a Breeders' Cup mile winner, and he's also the sire of the world champion three-year-old sprinter in Flying Ari, who stands at stud this year. He's also the sire of Laserhawk, who was a Rosal Guineas winner. Good standing. I love it. Daytona Gray. Good fillies like Vane Queen, Lady Melksham and a very, very exciting two-year-old in the USA called Hemp Hem Hooray. He's an outcross to the Daniel and Danzig bloodline, and he's by El Prado, a sire line which has made a lot of inroads into Australian racing and breeding through sons like Medallia Doro and grandsons like Astern and Vancouver at stud already. He's proven, he's an outcross, he gets winners, and he's very, very well priced. 
one thing that did upset him when we mentioned that his book wasn't full, he was a little bit unhappy. So our sales team are here today, so feel free to have a chat with Jimmy, Bernie Kane, Jonathan, Luke Lawler, Jonathan Davies. They're all here to assist you with your May things. He had a stellar year in the sales ring in 2017 with his yearlings being purchased by David Hayes at Lindsay Park, Darren Weir, Rick Worthington, Matthew Dale, the Friedman Brothers, Star Thoroughbreds, and Chris Waller. Thank you, Ejaz. I was speaking to Mick Price this morning, actually, who obviously trained Flying Artie, and I mentioned that uh, Artie Schiller had a bit of a reputation. He said he's got Flying Artie himself, an absolute gentleman when he had him in training, and Mick himself said, if he's a reputation, he said, I've got four in the stable, so what does that say about me? Well, the next horse that we're going to bring out, this horse was born here, he was bred here, he was raised on this very property. This is his town, this is his home, this is his backyard. He is Almahar. Just like him, the mighty in Costa del Lago, Thessio, Shamika, Dash for Cash, Elegant Fashion, they were all bred on this very property. It's great grounds for growing horses, has a tremendous history, uh, and this horse is three quarters in blood to none other than Redoute's Choice. He's from the family of successful stallions like Hugh Matilla and Hurricane Sky. He's the son of Dane Hill himself, and you won't see many of them around anymore. We are lucky we have two. We have Holy Roman Emperor in Queensland, and we have him here, and we are really lucky to have a direct descendant. Almahar is an ultra-consistent sire of stakes winners. He sired group one winning two-year-olds, three-year-olds. He can get you an older horse like Al Malad, Fat Al, Delicacy, Diamond Drill. He's got everything. He can get you a sprinter, a miler, a stayer. He has that versatility that all of us breeders look for. He had a stellar year in the sales ring with an over 90% clearance with his yearlings in 2017. Fact is, he was a wonderful racehorse himself. He was a VRC Guineas winner. And at 17, he's looking exceptionally well and a credit to the stallion team. Gigi looks fantastic for a 17-year-old. Uh, he's a very, very consistent stallion on the racetrack, but he's more consistent where it matters the most, in the bedroom. He's a very fertile horse, this horse. And that's why a lot of breeders who want to set up the broodmares of the track, fillies of the track, always use a horse like him, because he can get them in fall and they'll run for you. He gets a winner, this horse. That's right. And so many breeders, the catch cry is that they're looking for foundation mares that come from blue hen families to start off. There's no better family in the Australian stud book than Alma Hur's family, as the family of the mighty best in show. Now, who wouldn't like to start off with a mare like Delicacy or Diamond Drill as your foundation? Thanks, Luke. Also, if you're looking to breed winners and you breed to race, you know, don't try and reinvent the wheel. This horse gets the winners. This is the horse you want to use. It does look great for his age, doesn't it? Just trying to see if anyone can do a little rain dance with these clouds, if there's any chance. The next stallion that we're going to see is the first of our new stallions. His name is Divine Prophet. And I genuinely believe he's one of the most attractive freshman horses on anybody's roster. And we're delighted to show him to you here today. Of course, I'd like to also acknowledge uh, Tony Falcone and his son Sam, who've bred and raced the horse. We're delighted to partner the horse with him. Well, this horse is a local. He was bred in the Hunter Valley by Tony. You know, welcome. And uh, he was raised by one of the finest nurseries in the land, Middlebrook Valley Lodge, under the watchful eyes of Werner. He's by an emerging sire of size in Troisier, who sired astonishing 11 Group 1 winners, Star Spangled Banner, Olympic Glory, Japanese May, Sacred Choice, and the 2017 Champagne Stakes winner, The Mission. What more can you say about his sire, Schwazir? He's been one of the best speed sources in Australia, and he's upgrading his mares, which is what we like to see. He's closing on a nearly a, a century of stakes winners. He was a wonderful racehorse himself. He's the trailblazer for all Australian sprinters, and he's finally getting the recognition he deserves. Divine Prophet is out of an encosted Lago mare. And apart from being a champion stallion twice, in Costa de Lago has been a champion broodmare sire. He's had a remarkable 12 months. When you consider the future stallion prospects we have coming forward out of in Costa de Lago mares in the last racing year with the likes of Summer Passage, Impending, and our very own Invader, the winner of the sire's produce. 
before I dwell into his race record, instead of me saying something, you look at this horse and look at his, just look at him, look at his temperament, look at his physique, look at the power. He's just a tremendous physical, this horse. It's, it's hard to fault a horse like him. Uh, he was a very, very precocious two-year-old. He ran third in the Champagne Stakes. And then he comes back out and he won the up-and-coming stakes. Now let me tell you who else won the up-and-coming stakes. Maske, Exceed and Excel, Fastnet Rock, and Champion Stallion Schnitzel. Four Champion Stallions coming from one race. Well, he took that race as a lead-up and went on and won the Guineas. That race has been won by the likes of Vane, Lonro, and Reduce Choice. Three more Champion Stallions. Seven Champion Stallions from two races. And none of those horses won both of them, but this boy has. So you know what? He's a tremendous, tremendous three-year-old. He comes from a very, very active and young family. His full brothers had started in New Zealand. His sister by Exceed and Excel made 1.2 million at Easter this year. His family is going places. It's young, and you want to tap into it. When you talk about him physically, you see all the strength that comes through from the speed of Schwazir and the quality from Encosta de Lago. That's been recognized, and the horse has been supported by some of the leading breeders in the land. I'm delighted to have Rick Jemison from Gilgai, Sejano Stud, Edinburgh Park, Golden Stud, Rothwell Park, our neighbors there supporting the horse with five individual stakes winners this year. Ourselves, of course, we'll support him. We're committed to establishing our young stallions. Thank you, Ijaz. With our 200 mares to stud this year, a hundred of those will be committed to our own stallions. As I've mentioned, this horse in particular will get 25 of our best mares. And we'll be working together to bring new, in, new investors into the industry also to support his progeny. Rightio, so the second new horse today uh, is a horse called Kiss and Makeup. Uh, another lovely, lovely two-year-old. And uh, Shen, what do you think about this name, Kiss and Makeup? Have a look at him physically. He's muscle on muscle. He's the ultimate slipper profile of a horse. Looks like Tarzan, even if he's named a little bit like Jane. <laughs> he was the real deal, this horse. Speed, looks, and the pedigree. He's only li lightly raced. Three starts, actually, similar to Danzig. Another champion stallion in Malibu Moon, only two starts. So don't let his race. Uh, record put you off. He was a flying machine, this horse. He's tailor-made for the Australian racing. Well, he broke his maiden in a very, very hot two-year-old race. He beat a horse called Detective, who's group winner, and he beat a horse filly called Foxplay, who you would have seen ran very close to Wings over the weekend. So it's a very, very hot two-year-old race he's won. And then he's come back out, and he's beaten the eventual slipper winner in Capitalist. And he didn't beat him. He beat him with ridiculous ease. Uh, so, you know, this horse was a tremendous, tremendous two-year-old. He is by more than ready, who side two slipper winners. He's out of a reduced choice mare, who side two slipper winners. His mum, Fashions of Field, was a champion two-year-old filly, and she was second in the slipper him herself. But this is a horse that has slipper in his DNA. If you want to breed a two-year-old and you want to race a two-year-old, you don't need to look any further. This is what you want. This is what the Australian market is commanding and, and demanding in the sales ring as well. It's interesting to note this uh, Kiss and Makeup, he's the first uh, stallion that was syndicated. He's going to cover a stellar book of mares on the back of that. Also of interest uh, for breeders, please bear in mind that Aquas will ensure that this horse, although he's eligible for bobs, will support it with Cutis as well, which Aquas have decided to cover, which has given breeders and buyers a unique advantage in the ring and on the track. We've had great support from our shareholders and breeders. And we'd like to thank the likes of New Haven, Bonus, Kiora, Kitchwin, Rothwell, Rosemont, just to name a few. And of course, as I've said earlier, we will be supporting this stallion strongly with our own broodmare man. Thanks, Luke. And also, just to reiterate what Shane said, Aquis is in the business of making stallions. We're not just here to stand stallions for a few years. And that is why we're going to support every horse we stand. We're going to support them in the ring. We're going to support them on the track, in the barn. So breathe with confidence. Absolutely. In the last 24 months, we've acquired some $50 million worth of bloodstock. Majority of that has been through the sales ring. And that's money that's going directly back into the breeder's pocket and flows through into the industry. So we're here to stay and we're, we've developed a, 
an amazing broodmare band, an amazing team, and again, we thank you for your support. Finally, we have uh, Dream Ahead. This horse was an amazing two-year-old, dual group one winner. He actually ended his two-year-old career with the same time form rating as Frankel. He's last on our roster, but he's definitely not least. He's a dream horse, a dream horse for the Australian breeding industry. Well, he's a sort of stallion that the Australian breeding and racing industry has been crying out for. He's an outcross. He's proven. He works with the Daniel blood. And there is no reason this horse can't be the next Medalla d'Oro or more than ready. Red Ransom, Street Cry, Written Tycoon, or even I'm Invincible. You know, it's just early days uh, for this five-time Group 1 winner. And he wasn't just a cha joint champion two-year-old. He was a champion miler at three, and he was a champion sprinter. We like that word, don't we, Shane? Champion. Absolutely. It's got a lovely ring to it. Um, bear in mind with this horse as well, he was champion Australian, second season sire by stakes w winners. Now, that's more stakes winners than Sepoy and Helmet, Fox Wedge, So You Think, and Smart Missile. And I want to tell you that those horses are full. Let me tell you, you can still get a access to this stallion here today. He's already sired a classic winner with his first European crop of the summer racing in England. And this horse has 27 black type performers worldwide. Uh, his winners to black type performers ratio is 20%. That is one in every five dream ahead is a black type horse. That is tremendous for a horse that is just in the nascent stages of his breeding career. You know, we talk about percentages. I'll tell you another great fact about him. He's had three stakes winners out of reduced choice mares. He's had one out of a Choisir mare. He actually loves the Daniel blood. It sounds cliche, but it's a fact. He's got his biggest book of yearlings coming through, rising two-year-olds. His yearlings have been bought by the likes of Shadwell, China Horse Club, Peter Moody, Gay Waterhouse, John Hawks, Chris Lees, John Thompson, Paul Perry, and Darren Weir. So you have all of those working for you as well, the who's who in the Australian racing ranks. Thank you, Ejaz. But bear in mind, most farms are lucky to have one proven outcross stallion. We're fortunate enough to have two. This horse really is a no-brainer for you when you're looking to either breed to race, breed to sell, set up a young mare, or you're looking for an outcross. That concludes our stallion parade, so we'd like to thank you all for coming and visiting Aquas today and sharing our vision. We'd also like to thank Mr. and Mrs. Fung and the entire Fung family for investing in this wonderful industry without who we would not be here today. Robin Wise and her dedicated team on the farm have worked so tirelessly. We thank you again. We'd like to welcome Paul Weeks, our Chief Financial Officer, who hopefully everyone will get to know over the coming time. Ejaz and his stallion men have done a sensational job throughout the year and the stallions looked remarkably well again today. The entire sales team, the numbers we have are a credit to you and look forward to getting around and having a chat with the breeders that haven't fulfilled their broodmare portfolio requirements so far. And a quick cheerio to Nambuk, unfortunately couldn't be here today, she's not feeling well. So thank you all for coming and enjoy the rest of the weekend here in the Hunter. Thank you.